Grace Hammer here with Odeon for the premiere of The Little Mermaid. So let's go and chat to all of the stars on the blue carpet. It will always be the love letter to the original because we're all such big fans of it. But there have been small changes made that have made such a big difference, I think, for the storytelling of it. All the same themes are there. The beautiful story and nostalgia is still there. But you get to see a little bit of a twist at the end, which I hope people will love. It's just such a spectacle. It's just another chance to live through all those things you felt when you first watched it. Bring back your inner child, you know. If you want to be transported to another place, full of imagination. You have to go see it in a movie theater. That's how it should be seen. Big, crazy ocean landscapes. The visuals, even the music, everything. You just need to feel it with all your senses. When you do see this on the big screen, you understand why. It's what I live for. Proud of your world, for sure. <laughs> oh, gosh. It, this is so hard. I think Jonah really kills it in his new song, Wild and Child Waters. Oh, it's got to be Under the Sea. Maybe Under the Sea, but it's changing. I love Under the Sea. I'm a part of your world. Really, like, spoke to me when I was a kid. Take a date, take a mate, take your mom, your grandma. Anyone, yeah. I definitely would take my mom. <laughs> because I made her watch the cartoon like 2,000 times. I've got my children who grew up watching this. Now my grandchildren will see it. People are going to choose the nearest young girl in their family so that they have an excuse to come and see this, but you don't need it. Somebody got to nail that girl's fins to the floor. <laughs> <laughs>